morning, good afternoon, good evening, good day. Welcome to Supernatural Figure on Apostolic Historic Apostolic Assignment for the Lord. Amen. We represent Supernatural Apostolic Global Ministries, USA and Ghana. Amen. Today we are streaming live for, from Martinsburg, West Virginia, USA. We have in our midst a guest speaker, Apostle Joshua Alamensa. Amen. He's going to be our guest speaker for the program for today's services. Amen. Amen. Please feel free and be with us. The background music, we don't own them. It's for promotional purposes to the glory of God. Amen. Amen. Enjoy some background music. I'll be right back. My praise we give you worship we thank you so much for everything oh god we submit today into your care we submit the body of christ globally into your care we come before you as your little children your people we pray and we plead the blood of jesus upon ourselves ever since we've sinned against you we come before you that you pray that you cleanse us with the blood of jesus purify us as snow Help us to live a godly life, a righteous life, and a holy life. In Jesus' name we pray with thanksgiving. Amen. Amen. the platform, the puppet, to our guest speaker, Apostle Joshua Alamensa. Amen. Amen. Papa, may you proceed. Okay. Um, today I'm going to be preaching about God's second coming and the death of Satan and how he was released after a thousand years. I'm going to be reading from Revelation chapter 4 to chapter 13. I'm going to be reading from chapter, Revelation chapter 10 to Revelation chapter 13. The Angel and the Small Scroll Then I saw another mighty angel coming down from heaven, surrounded by a cloud with a rainbow over his head. His face shone like the sun and his feet were like pillars of fire, and in his hand was a small scroll that had been opened. He stood with his right foot on the sea and his left foot on the land, and he gave a great shout like the roar of a lion, and when he shouted, the seven thunders answered. When the seven thunders spoke, I was about to write, but I heard a voice from sick from heaven saying, Keep secret what the, what the seven thunders said, and do not write it down. Then the angels I saw standing on the sea and on the land raised his right hand toward heaven. 
He swore an oath in the name of the one who lived forever and ever, who created the heavens and everything in them, the earth and everything in it, and the sea and everything in it. He said there will be no more delay. When the seventh angel blows his trumpet, God's mysterious plan will be fulfilled. It will happen just as he announced to his servants the prophets. Then the voice from heaven spoke to me again. Go and take the open scroll from the hand of the angel who was standing on the sea and on the land. So I went to the angel and told him to give me the small scroll. Yes, take it and eat it. He said it would be as sweet as honey in your mouth, but it would turn sour in your stomach. So I took the small scroll from the hand of the angel and I ate it. It was sweet in my mouth, but then when I swallowed it, it turned to sour in my stomach. When I was told you must prophesy again about many peoples, nations, languages, and kings. The Beast Out of the Sea Then I saw a beast rising up out the sea, and it had, it had seven heads and ten horns. With ten crowns on its horns and written on each head were the names of blas that blasphemed God. This, this beast looked like a leopard, but it had the feet of a bear and the mouth of a lion. And the dragon gave the beast his own power and great authority. I saw that one of the heads of the beast seemed to wound beyond recovery, but the fatal wound was healed. The whole world marveled at this miracle and gave allegiance to the beast. They worshipped the dragon for giving the beast such power, and they also worshipped the beast. Who is, who, is great at, who is as great as the beast? They exclaimed, who is able to fight against him? Then the beast was allowed to speak great blasphemies against God, and he was given authority to do whatever he wanted for 42 months. And he spoke terrible words of blasphemy against God, slandering his name and dwelling, that is, those who dwell in heaven. And the beast was allowed to wage war against God's holy people and to conquer them. And he was given authority to rule over every tribe and people and language and nation. And all the people who belong to this world worship the beast. They, were, they are the ones whose names were not written in the book of life. Before the world was made, the book that belonged to the Lamb was, was slaughtered. Anyone with ears to hear should listen and understand. Anyone who is destined for prison will be taken to prison. Anyone who is destined to die by the sword will die by the sword. This means that God's holy people must endure persecution patiently and remain faithful. The beast out of the earth. Then I saw another beast come out of the, out of come up out of the earth. He had two horns like those of a lamb, but he spoke with the voice of a dragon. He exercised all the authority of the first beast, and he and he and he required all the earth and its people to worship the first beast, whose fatal wound had been healed. He did astounding miracles, even making fire flash down to the earth and, and, all, and, and its people to worship the first beast. While everyone was watching, and with all the miracles he was allowed to perform on behalf of the first beast, he deceived all the people who belonged to this world. He, he ordered the people to make a great statue of the first beast. He was fatally wounded and then came back to life. He was then permitted to give life to the statue so that it could speak. Then the statue of the beast commanded that, everyone, that anyone refusing to worship it must die. He required everyone small and great, rich and poor, free and slave, to be given a mark on the right hand or on the forehead, and no one could buy or sell anything without the mark, which was, which was either the name of the beast or the number representing the name. Wisdom is needed here. Let the one with understanding solve the meaning of the number of the beast, for it is the number of man. His number is six six six. The three angels. And I saw another angel flying through the sky, carrying the eternal good news to proclaim to the people who belong to this world. To every nation, tribe, language, and people, fear God, he shouted, give glory to him. For the time has come when he will sit as a judge. Worship him who has made the heavens, the earth, the sea, and all the springs of water. 
Then another angel followed him through the sky, shouting, Babylon is fallen, and thy great city is fallen, because she made all the nations of the world drink the wine of her passionate immorality. And then a third angel followed them, shouting, Anyone who, mar who worships the beast and his statue, or who accepts his mark on the forehead or on the hand, must drink the wine of God's anger. It has been poured full of strength into God's cup of wrath, and they will be turmoil tormented with fire and burning sulfur in the presence of the holy angels and this lamb. The smoke of their torment will rise forever and ever, and they will have no relief day or night, for they have worshipped the beast and his statue and have accepted the mark of his name. This means that God's holy people must endure persecution patiently, obeying his commands and maintaining their faith in Jesus. And I heard a voice from heaven saying, Write this down. Blessed are those who die in the Lord from now on. Yes, says the Spirit, they are blessed indeed, for they will rest their heart from their hard work, or their good deeds follow them. Then I saw a white cloud seated on the cloud with someone like the Son of Man. He had a gold crown on his head and a sharp sickle in his hand. Then another angel came from the temple and shouted to the one sitting on the cloud, Swing the sickle for the time of our harvest has come. The crop on earth is ripe, so the one is sit so the one sitting on the cloud swung a sickle over the earth. And the earth was the whole earth was harvested. And after that another angel came from the temple in heaven, and he also had a sharp sickle. And then another angel who had power to destroy with fire came from the altar. He shouted to to the angel with a sharp sickle, Swing your sickle now to gather the clusters of grapes from the vines of the earth, for they are ripe for judgment. Revelation chapter 13, it says that he required everyone small and great, rich and poor, free and slave, to be given a mark on the right forehead. Jesus Christ is going to be coming soon, so you should prepare. If you take the mark of the beast, you will be destined for hell and and, and you will not go to heaven. There is only two sins in the Bible that God doesn't forgive you for. and The first one is blaspheming the Holy Spirit, and the second one is taking the mark of the beast on your right hand or on your forehead. And then the seven trumpets of the of the angels is when they pour God's wrath onto the earth. And the seventh trumpet consists of God's wrath and him pouring fire and tormenting them with sulfur day and night. Amen. 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 Thank you so much. Heavenly Father, we thank you. We thank you. We thank you for your time, for your patience. It was a long chapter. You have to read and read and read and read but to summarize everything jesus christ is coming soon are you ready as apostolic as supernatural apostolic global ministries our assignment is to prepare the body of christ globally so with our messages and everything we do in our services we don't dilute our messages amen we preach to you exactly what is written in the Bible. And as being led by the Holy Spirit, we do what God wants us to do. Amen. Amen. We thank you for your precious time. We thank you for watching us. We thank you for subscribing to our YouTube channel. Continue to follow us and we will be of a blessing. Amen. Amen. As long as you are our follower, on social media amen at youtube whatever that you're going through you you have you have our number our office number is 240-474-2901 don't hesitate amen call us and the little that we can do to support you pertaining to food clothing shelter we will be here 
We thank you for watching us. God bless you. Bye. Bye. Bye.